that'll do just nicely. Let's have a go. Oh yes, we love her. That is bloody high. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the stakes. Wake up in the morning, all it over, look it over at you. Close the scatter all over the room. Oh, what do we do? Mm -hmm. Don't know how it happened, it just happened. We were laughing and I think I'm lean like, is this all right? Oh, but you didn't mind. My bad. This is probably a bad idea. And I know we shouldn't take it here. But now you're in my bed. Looking at me like that. No, don't look at me like that. I know you shouldn't fuck your friends. Push me into kissing your lips But to be honest Probably would have done it Oh, without a sip oh. It's probably a bad idea And I know we shouldn't take it here But now you're in my bed Looking at me like that No, don't look at me like that I know you shouldn't fuck your friends I mean, it's kind of common sense guys okay I just got done at the gym that was a hard session I don't know what it was it felt like it was my first time ever working out there were only four of us in the class too which is quite funny but yeah I don't know what it was I don't know it was just a very hard session maybe it was just hard and I haven't pushed myself like that in a while but I started to feel really nauseous um okay right. oh Okay, I was chat to you guys at home. Okay, so I have made it back down the Gold Coast. I was only here the other day with Georgie, but I have come to, it's called the Whole Health Studio. This is my first appointment with Tia. She is a naturopath, just because I'm working on a few things, which I feel like I'll make a dedicated video, like all about process and stuff, because when you go to a naturopath, which I have been to a couple in the past, but it's not like a once-off visit. It's, a, it's something that you really need to like keep going to and invest in, and you kind of like, it's a process. So, by the way, I've got like really bad sunglass marks and my face is really patchy. Yeah, I will leave all her info down below. So I'm very keen to see like what we chat about and stuff. I think my main concern is like getting my hormones right, um, like hormonal acne and just, yeah, feeling good and like anxiety and all that jazz. So yeah, I made really good timing. Very proud of myself. I feel, I think I mentioned it, but I've been feeling a little bit like in a rut lately. And the, today is the first day in a while that I feel like myself even though my gym session by the way was really hard i literally felt like i was gonna vomit i don't know i just feel a bit i feel really positive and yeah i just feel like myself so i'll see you guys after you're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore I need to love myself, I need to 
all gonna say what they wanna say anyway. That's why I need to just feel up myself. Oh, yeah. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I am at the gym. I had a really good day yesterday. Like, I was very productive. I felt really good. I felt like myself, as I said. And then it's always like at nighttime. This is the thing I need to work on. I get really anxious. Um, I've got two meetings this morning. And then after that, I'm going to get stuff organized with my. Why am I like leaning over here? Then I'm going to get stuff organized with my. Ow. Then I'm going to get stuff organized with my dad. There are people just. Then I'm gonna get stuff organized with my dad in terms of like house insurance, some other stuff that we need to like call people that I feel like I need to do with my dad because half the time they ask questions that I don't know the answers to. And then I need to make a thumbnail. I wanna get some pictures. Just get done with the session. All right, Nick, I wanna sneeze. <sighs> no, it's going away. Damn it. <coughs> there it is. Okay, so. <sighs> currently 8.56 so I've got four minutes um, until my call. <sighs> Talking on the phone is always such like a makes you so anxious for some reason or am I a psycho? If I get a phone call from a, f a phone number that I don't recognize I don't answer it. <laughs> I will look up the number and see like whose it is. I'll probably be sitting here for the next couple hours so. Good how are you? Yeah, yeah. So away and we're done just like that. Something about you is pulling me back. Right, right, okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm holding on. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been great. <laughs> That's good to know. Bye. So, that was a very quick call. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to... I'm going to do a PR unboxing, actually. I feel like I could do a little weird. I can't wait to be in my new office, guys, because it's so much... This room, for some reason, is just so dark. Even though there's a big window here, as you can see from all the light, it's just really, really dark. Um, and I don't like that. But let's do some unboxings that I got the other day. Got my like PR bin. But I think I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this mirror in my house. I think I, I definitely want to keep it because it's such a nice mirror. Feels so weird to not have Frey here though. Like I keep going to like, I don't know, it just feels like something's missing. But I think I'm gonna get new bed sheets when I move, which these are by the brand Aura. Aura by Tracy Ellis. It's just from um, like Maya and I've had them for years but I, I feel like since I'm going to be moving into a new space I need like a new bed sheet to like match that. So first package we have is from Breeze Balm and hey you got this. I think they're laying the turf today. I posted the week. Oh wait is this a Valentine's Day thing? I think so. Ooh. Oh, okay, so these are a bit fun. I also tried to paint my nails tragically. That's what they look like. Well, that packaging, that's a bit cool. It's like metallic. Lana Lips Baby Rose Gold 101 ointment. Oh, cute. Thank you so much, Lana Lips. Lana Lips and Breeze Balm are my favorite lip balms. I think the last time I got a Lana Lips, I gave it to Frank. <laughs> she loves them too. Will you accept this rose? Of course. Then we got in a package from this brand called, I don't know, it's from the brand, I think it's a, by the brand called Ire, Iri, I can't say that. How do you pronounce that? It's like very minimal, Argan Brow Hero. Wake up your brows, Argan, I'm like shaking from the gym. <laughs> love your pair. So it's like a little brow mascara. I love, ooh, that packaging's so nice. Look at it. It's very like, it's almost like matte. It's very dark. Oh yeah, she's dark. Cool. But since I'm getting my brows done tomorrow, they probably will be a bit darker because I'll get them tinted. Thank you so much. And then, super exciting. Okay, I get so many questions about where my earrings are from. And pretty much all of my like, if I zoom in. See, I found my good tripod so I can do this now. Look at that, zoom. So there's probably foundation on earrings but like all of these are jazz handmade i pretty much switch up the first loop just because these are kind of still healing i'm trying to just like let these guys heal and not switch them up too much 
But yeah, they're all Jazz handmade. I get a lot of questions. Also, Jazz, if you're watching this, I feel for you when you uploaded your weekly vlog yesterday just about being like super overwhelmed and overworked. I don't know how she was functioning as a human being. She has like two, two accounts, her business that she does everything herself. And I was like, how... How are you doing that? So definitely take like all the time you need to chill out and just rest because I feel like yeah When you do this job like in social media, there is no off time It's just always happening and I think I'm trying really hard to like enforce these boundaries of not working You know past a certain point or you know what I've actually tried doing is it sounds so dumb when you say it out loud But I think when you are self-employed and when you do have your own business or you work for yourself or whatever Even if you're in school and you're like studying and stuff you have to set boundaries because it's you you just burn out and I think for a while there I was a bit burnt out kind of feel like more like myself now like I want to try and make my Sundays like I sleep in until I I just don't set an alarm like I think last Sunday I woke up at 9 a.m. That is extremely late for me and normally I like wouldn't let myself do that. I felt so rested and like I needed that. So I think I'm definitely going to implement, <laughs> it sounds like this is probably just normal behavior for most people. But as like an early riser, it was so nice to just sleep and I feel so good now. So I'm definitely going to try and implement, you know, at least on a Sunday, just chill out. She sent me some new goodies from Jazz Handmade. This ring I have on here is from Jazz Handmade. Oh, she spoils me so much. But yeah, she did give me a discount code, which is Connor 10. Hope you love. P.S. Check under the flap. So that's her little, like, Valentine's Day. So cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. I do sometimes feel like I might go a bit over the top with jewellery, but I love it. Like, Freya and I both just love. We're like, more is more. So, Jazz, you don't need to do this, but thank you so, so much. So we've got, this is, I believe, I don't know the names of all of these. Um, we have a bracelet here. Come on, focus on. Which is very, like, Cartier vibes, and it's nice and, like, weighted. Um, how do I, let me just, I'll put that aside. And then we have a little bangle. The callus is on my hands. But it's, like, a plain hoop. I don't know which hand I would wear this on. Connor, that's a lot, <laughs> but I'm also like, enough is never enough. <laughs> so we have those two, and then more, because she's a gem. So we've got these two little, like, love heart studs with, like, a tiny little diamond on them. Then she sent, like, this little cross, the cherry charm. Um, and then what's this? These are, ooh, these are cool. These are, like, a little ear cuffs. I love ear cuffs. They just, because you don't need a piercing for them, so you can, like, just... How cool! How cool is that? I love it. Um, I have another one and it just like, oh, I love, I love earrings! And to think I said once, I used to say to my ex-partner, don't buy me jewellery because I don't wear it. <laughs> and then, oh, a little cross stud as well. And then this, like, I think it's called the love ring, something along those lines. So it's very, yeah, like Cartier vibes. This looks very small. I think I told her a very small size. So this is going to have to go on my ring finger. How cute! So the middle one is like Daniel Wellington and then that's the jazz hand. Jazz handmade! I need to um, post it on my Instagram story. I'm, see, I want to change my earrings now, but I shouldn't. I'm going to put in these hoops today. I've been into wearing like bigger hoops in my lobes, like just on the daily, because why the heck not? Do I need an occasion to wear nice jewellery? No, I don't! I'm talking to you, Dad. <laughs> Have you got enough earrings in your ear? Nope. I'm gonna keep going. I know, I'm like, what piercing should I get next? But I need to probably let my earrings, earring, ears heal. Um, that's gonna fit so nicely. <sighs> the Apple Watch. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Jazz. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a really nice week just chilling out. You deserve it. I just stepped in my bowl. I just stepped in my bowl. <laughs> I have so many earrings now. I love it. Look how tiny these ones are too. They're so little. Thank you so much, Jazz. But yeah, that's what the hoops look like up close. If you can see that there. I'm so excited to be in my house that doesn't have a black carpet because, oh, I've got another package. I just realized the black carpet, it's not a vibe. I mean, it's fine. And it's good because it does my, like, obviously, when my parents, like, we've been in this house for, like, gosh, over 10 years. 
you know, 10 years ago, I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, and my brother and I were like growing up, so it makes sense to have darker carpet because it doesn't stain as easily and stuff, but I'm gonna have everything be white, baby. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me open this package. Let me shut up because Freya, um, her she ordered HelloFresh before she left, and obviously she's in Melbourne and she's it's come, so her boyfriend just came to pick it up um, because otherwise it would just like sit here and go to waste. Because obviously we're not gonna eat her HelloFresh. I think she might. I think they might freeze it or something. Okay. This is from Genora, which Genora is my collagen that I take every day. I've been mixing it with my, oh, that's right. I need to talk about my naturopath experience. Yeah, um, so they sent some beauty brain, a top up. I'm sorry, you're crooked at the moment. But, um, but yeah, my naturopath appointment was really insightful and I feel really excited to see where we go from here. But yeah, she even like took my blood, like did like a little finger prick and she analyzed it and was explaining stuff. So I've got a little herbal tonic, which is like customized to me and like what my goals are and stuff. And it tastes foul. But she said like she wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to taste good. Like they taste bad. So she's like, I recommend you know having some soy milk first because it kind of like coats your throat and then doing it she's like if you can shot alcohol you can shot this it literally feels like i'm doing a shot that's how potent and like gross it is but it's fine i think i need to get some soy milk or like um milk did kind of work but it wasn't like the greatest and then i've also got like a another little compound that i'm mixing with the balance that she like sells as like a product until that's finished up. And then, yeah, so I've got like a little powder and then my tonic. Yeah, but I feel like my skin is, I mean, I've got makeup on right now, but my skin is getting, has definitely improved. And I, a lot of you guys commented on my last weekly vlog saying my skin looks a lot better. And I feel like it's, you know, a combination of things like the balance powder that I've been using for the past few weeks. And I've been really good about my skincare. I've been doing my Pepe Co mask. Um, one thing I also have changed is I put my serums on wet now, which is something that I didn't do before. So like my face will be quite wet or damp and I put my serums on because you know, your, your face is going to absorb the water. So therefore it's going to absorb the serums kind of with it. Um, and I found that to work really well. I feel like they just sink in a lot faster and they, I feel like they sink in better. Yeah. Thank you. And I, I mean, I got my on, so I can't. <laughs> it's the time. Half an hour. I'm gonna pop these on my story. Okay, time to jump on a call with my manager. <gasps> Hi! I know, from like now until, yeah, literally like March and stuff. Like many clients come back to me overnight so Yay. there's a lot to go through lovely all right and I have come, oh, this is not a good angle, but I've come to my eyebrow appointment. I hope that's not too loud. I brought my camera, but I didn't bring the memory card, but I've been kind of doing like my version of packing, I like to say. As you would have seen, I just kind of like decluttered my shoes. I packed some of like my big shoes and like shoes that I don't really wear away in a suitcase. Just because I'm kind of like doing it bit by bit. I decluttered my bathroom the other day, so I'm just kind of getting ready so I can move things easily rather than having it like all over the place. And then I've just been like editing and making a thumbnail. So not ah, nothing too exciting. But yeah, I've come to get my brows laminated i'm very keen um i was gonna go to the supermarket beforehand but i completely forgot and i just drove straight here so i'm gonna 
wear these giant sunglasses like into the supermarket because if you know what my brows look like after they get laminated they look crazy so this week is kind of boring next week's going to be really exciting i'm thinking of doing a separate vlog for this little trip that i'm going on i'm going to byron um which i will chat more about i think or do i just include it in the weekly vlog i might just include it in the weekly vlog because otherwise there won't be a weekly vlog because i'm gone for a few days so and then it may or may not be time to move moving content is coming so i feel like up until then i'm just doing boring stuff like just getting ready which i'm so bad at. i need to remember to like film and stuff but i just get like caught up in the moment and then half the time i look disgusting about you is pulling me back and I'm holding on I've been swinging like a pendulum for you I've been swinging like a pendulum for you I'll go to bed and wake up broken hearted just one more time brows are done obviously they look really crazy right now because they're freshly laminated by love they look so crazy she does such a good job i will leave brooklyn's info down below i don't know how many brow laminations i've had but it's been ages she was like oh my god there's so many like hairs and stuff to wax and whatever and i'm like it's been a while but so now it's 3 30 i'm gonna thank god i brought these sunglasses with me because i'm gonna pop into the supermarket <laughs> and i'll throw it right back Ooh, take it back to when nobody used to know me like still i was just chilling with my homies now that we're popping everybody is talking this is for my day one don't forget the ones that made ya deep south sweating out flavor this is for my day one day one this is for my day one don't forget the ones that made happy wednesday oh no happy thursday actually bloody hell i swear we always have people working on the house painters or whatever like some sort of tradesman in the house whenever uh, like at the worst timing possible i haven't gone to the gym today because i don't think i've mentioned it but my friend and i are gonna do like a crossfit session at a gym um this afternoon so i'm a bit nervous for that because i've never done crossfit in my life but i'm excited to see how we go just to switch things up a bit these are what my eyebrows look like currently They've calmed down a bit. They're definitely like still very like, you know, dark and intense. I've just been doing some editing, just getting like a bunch of content done pretty much. But I'm about to head out to Kmart because it's moving time very, very soon. So I want to just like go and actually buy stuff. I swear the amount of times I've gone to Kmart and I've been like, yep, yeah, we're going to get stuff for the house. And then I walk away with like nothing whereas this time i'm like connor you need to buy stuff because it's really soon um even though like there's no like necessarily a rush it's just <laughs> it would just be good to like you know pick up a few bits and bobs but wearing all gymshark today um just because i don't want to wear like you know bright blue bright pink active wear or something because i've never been here before so i just went with black and gray nice and neutral um 
So I got in a package from More Life, which is, um, this is a collab with Ashy Bynes. And I think I want to make, maybe not today, but I want to make, um, so we've got like chocolate chip, clean treat ball mix, coconut rough ball mix. And all you need is it says two tablespoons of coconut oil and rice malt syrup, which I feel like, do we have coconut oil? There's people in the kitchen right now and I don't want to go look. If I were to take a shot in the dark, I would say we do. And we've also got coconut almond dough. Ooh, yum. Caramel almond dough. Banana bread. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Caramel milk slice. I think I want to get, I don't think we have rice malt syrup, but we also could because my dad loves baking. Um, but as you can see, I like declutter my wardrobe a lot. So I've got like a box up there with stuff and it's just like, we're getting there guys. It's like getting ready to be able to move boxes easily. I need to figure out what system I want in my wardrobe though. Cause I don't know. Okay, so it's now about five o'clock. Oh my gosh, when was the last time I vlogged? Oh yeah, I did Kmart and stuff, but um, I've come with my friend Elise. Hey guys. Um, we've come really early so we can like sit and like, cause I feel like when you go to a gym for the first time, you've got to really like hype yourself up. So we're very nervous. So we drove down to where this gym is, right? And there wasn't like enough car parks and the class before us is like still happening and they're all going on a run. And I did, I tried to do a, a three point turn. They like swarm and like start running back out and they all go around my car. And we just like sitting here, like just still. And I'm just literally dying inside. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> like, it was literally the most embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. So now we're just sitting here. I know it's people. Hard. People are like, why do you pretend like you're on the phone? Because I and that's like because. Oh, I insane. didn't even think that your camera would be up there. Like, no, that. it's very visible. Yeah. Oh, they're coming back. <laughs> they're gonna know you're telling the story. F I'm not running three times. I'm not running three times. <laughs> what makes I put it here. Half time. Yeah, that's so much better. What makes um, them think I'm gonna run three times? Oh my god, they've come back, guys. Oh, oh, this oh, girl, this, this lady's, lady's like, it. She, she's like, she knows, it. that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, they like just ran around, oh. like you had to be there, but oh my god, that was the most excruciating 10 seconds of my life. Oh my god. I'm like shaking. I know. <laughs> I just want them all to leave so that we can just. Yeah, and they're still going. We're just sitting, and they can probably see us and think, what f***ing wankers. I know. Oh, they're coming back. Oh. Guys, I can't believe it just Don't happened. Don't even look at me. Oh, How no. did they not Let get hit by car glasses though? on? Like, they're so they literally running me, through a car like, park. Can't recognize me now. <laughs> what a disguise. <laughs> I don't understand. They're running through a car park. Like, how did they not oh, get hit? I think I know that one. <sighs> I'm having an anxiety attack. Oh. Yeah, same, but it's only because you're nervous. It's yep. okay, we pee. It's, okay. <laughs> it's a nervous pee. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not running full time. I can't believe that happened, but wow, what a funny story to tell the kids. Holy moly. Okay, so Elise and I just got done with our first like CrossFit sesh. Wow, that was interesting. That was like, oh my God, so I vomited. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun though. Um, it's more strength as well if you want to like be doing that. Yeah, it was a lot more like barbell stuff. Um, probably just like... But yeah, no, that was great. I really loved that, so. Me too, I feel really good now. <sighs> we got those endorphins rushing. Holy, I have a headache though. Do you get a headache yeah. after you work out? Yeah. I think it's because I don't drink It was so water. intense. Like I literally vomited. 
just there. <laughs> just there in the bushes. But, there I, I like waited for everyone to go past, yeah. and then I was just like, Bleh. not like, a, not like vomit. Just, I just like spat a spat out phlegm. Like it was yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Probably don't put that in your vlog. Like, oh, okay. Turn yeah. around and then turn around again, like filming my boobs. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Good morning, guys. Welcome. It's Friday. <laughs> Not sure. I'm about to go into the gym. I've got on a long sleeve today because it is raining, raining, raining. It's been like this for the past uh, couple of days and I think it's going to be like this for a while, which is great timing actually since they did lay my turf. Like the best thing for newly laid grass is rain. So that's cool. When I get back from the gym, I'm going to show you everything that I picked up from Kmart. It's kind of random, but it's like stuff that I need. I don't remember if I said, but I went into the good guys after my class for the lease and I got a Nutribullet just because obviously I'm not going to be taking my family's a Nutribullet and I cannot live without that. So that was a necessity. I didn't get the one that my family has, which has like all the different bits and pieces because I don't need those, but I wanted to get the 1200 watt one just because I, th I think it was like $130 just because I wanted like a stronger motor <laughs> because I like to blend. It's my Miami Nights, I think, today in at F45, which I think is a mix of resistance and cardio, which I'm keen for. Anyway, I'm gonna head into the gym now. I'll chat to you after. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm tempted to pop out. Ooh, that exposure. Um, I'm tempted to pop out and get a coffee just because I'm I wanna get out of the house. So I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up from Kmart and the good guys, which is my new triple it. Very tired all of a sudden. I think because yesterday, obviously, it was like a workout that I don't really normally do. So my body's not used to it. So I'm a bit like, ooh, my, oh my. This is my Nutripullet that I got. I just want to open everything up, but I'm like, I shouldn't because that would be so silly. So it's the Pro 1200 Watt the Precision Nutrient Extractor. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same one that we've got, but like less bits. So it's got the small one and then one, it's, oh, it's got three. So it's got a big one, the handle one, and then the little one, which I use the little one to do my pancakes just because it's the easiest. So yeah, picked that one up. Then I kind of want to assemble this. I think I might, just because I'm in the mood to assemble something. This is a bamboo step stool because I will need one. Like if, when you see my house tour, you'll see my pantry, which I'm so excited for my pantry because it's literally a room. It's like a butler's pantry, which my dad is like so jealous of. He loves like butler's pantry. So it's like a, it's a room where I'll be able to put like, if I want to, I could put the coffee machine in there, the kettle, the toaster, which I don't know. I mean, I'll probably want to put them on display, but like the Nutribullet can go in there, but it's obviously it's like a room. So I can't reach anything usually. And this one's a cute one because it's like wooden. I'm going to open it. I don't care. I also got this outdoor setting that came. If I don't have a couch by the time I move in, at least I will have an outdoor setting that I could put inside. <laughs> oh my. Should I assemble this? Probably not, but I want to. Should I show you? Nah. Surely this is pretty self-explanatory. They have really nice stuff in Kmart, like really cool stuff. There was this chair that I really was like very close to getting, but I don't know whether I liked it or not like I do but I didn't know whether it looked like a bit cheap because some things from Kmart look like so nice but then sometimes you can like tell it's like I don't know we'll see we'll see there are certain things that you I feel like you can invest in and there are certain things that I think you can totally do like from Kmart and stuff got the leg here oh this one has instructions thanks Kmart thank you very much that's like the step Heaven forbid when I have to assemble like IKEA stuff. Do I need a drill? No, that comes with an Allen key. Hello. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it How you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out Okay, is it 
concerning that there's a screw and something else, I think I missed. Yeah. But I mean, surely that's fine. That took me, I've been recording for 27 minutes. Why did that take so long? That's a big step. Is that? That'll do just nicely. Let's have a go. Oh yes, we love her. That is bloody high. Oh my God. Yay. I'm gonna be able to reach stuff. Oh, my camera's literally overheating. Why was that so difficult? Okay, let's just, I'm gonna give you a break. Hang on. Okay, so moving on, it's very gray in here all of a sudden. I need to blow dry my hair. Um. Okay, so let's do all like, this is so exciting. I love homeware stuff. Um. Now I'm gonna make numerous Kmart trips, I think. Next, I have got this little <laughs> soap dispenser. Why did that take forever to come to my brain? Um, I wanna have this one for the kitchen, I think, because I feel like that's quite cute. It goes with the vibe, it just says wash on it. There was one there that was so, it was like a glass, like old fashioned looking one that was super cute. So I got a pack of I didn't realize these are extra large tea towels. I mean, oh no, they're fine. They're like three gray tones. Um, they're just like waffle, um, cause you need tea towels. I got two fry pans. I really like the Kmart fry pans. I find that fry pans don't really last anyway. I mean, they probably do if you take care of them, but I've never been that person. So I really like the Kmart ones. They're literally super cheap. Um, I bought one, I bought a couple the other day, well not the other day, but the other month, but we've been like using them as a family and they're just kind of like the family's fry pans now. So I got two that I'm not gonna use until I'm in. So I, I got a 28 centimeter and a uh, 24 centimeter. Cause I was like, this is all I really use. And then I got a set of kitchen scales. What do these actually look like? I haven't opened these, but these are battery powered stainless steel kitchen scales. Ooh, these are fancy ones. Look at her. They're much nicer than the ones my family have. Ooh, I like those. Very nice. That's like heavy. I'm very happy with that purchase because there were a few different ones. Um, so I like that one, stainless steel. Very nice, good to, easy to clean, you know. I also got a pizza tray. I saw that and I was like, I need that because I eat my pizzas all the time. Um, so I just got a pizza tray. Um, and then I got, it's a welcome mat, but it doesn't say welcome, but I'm going to use it as like the front door mat. So I got one of these, so cute. Kmart has such nice stuff, guys. So I think this was like $15. I'm going to get this everywhere. Um, but it's got like a little frill, so cute. Good to like get that down at the front door as soon as possible, like straight away. So, oh, am I going to be that household that tells people to take their shoes off before they come in? I don't know. My family have never been that family, but I feel like I might be that person. <laughs> At least in the beginning, cause it's like all new and stuff and very white. So I probably will be. Future reference for everyone who comes into my house, please take off your shoes at the front door. Thank you very much. Um, okay. And there's more. It's such a random um, assortment of things. Then I got some like bag clips for food and stuff. So like when you want to clip just like, you know, they're like random bits of pieces that you don't think of. So I've got a pack of those. I also got some of this. It's called multi-purpose liner. And it's basically like, I don't know how, like a liner that you can put in your cupboards and stuff. So I'll probably put this in like the cutlery, not the cutlery drawer, but like all the drawers, um, especially to do with like pots and pans, just because if they're gonna be sat on this, they're probably not gonna like dirty the, the surface of the cupboards, which was really nice. So I picked up those. These are also great if you are renting, get some of these because then you don't like run the risk of damaging the property and stuff. Dustpan, uh, need one of these. I also need to get like a broom. I, uh, I do have a mop. I've got my co-mop, which is good. This one has like silicone bristles. And then I got one of these, which I've always wanted. It's like a wooden bamboo. Is it called bamboo? Bamboo expandable cutlery tray. So this one can expand. They, they had a non-expandable one, but I'm like, surely the expandable one's the one to go with. So I can have all my cutlery looking nice and pretty. I love the like bamboo look. I got some coat hangers because I always need coat hangers. Um, this lamp. When I went to Carindale with Freya once, I saw this lamp in Kmart, but I didn't get it. But they had it there. I need to get a light bulb for it though. See, I, I just want to show you the base because it's 
so cool. Oh, I want to open it though. Nah. I'll just insert. It's like very, like look at the front side of it. Can you see that there? It's very like abstract stone vibes. They also had like a rattan. I don't know if that's how you say it. Rattan. It's not, it's definitely not rotten. Surely not. Because that sounds so bogan. Rotten. There was a rotten. Uh, there was a rattan one. But I really love the look of this. I don't know what my aesthetic is, to be honest. Like, you know, we've got some like hessian. It's going to be black and white, like marble. But then I also want like wood and like beachy vibes. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. But that is everything that I got from Kmart. Kind of random. Just doing it bit by bit, you know. Um, it'll be so much easier once I'm actually in the house and I know exactly what I need and whatnot. Oh, it's so muggy. I'm tempted to go get a coffee, but I also can't be bothered. What's the time? 11.25. I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch because the kitchen's not accessible at the moment. We'll see. Now I need to pack all this away. I love my step though. I'm very chuffed with that. Look how big it is. Like, look at the size of my legs. That goes past, that's like at my knees. Or like past my knees. That's bloody massive. I'm so scared it's gonna break. Good evening guys, happy Saturday. I haven't spoken to you in ages. Apologies for this terrible lighting, but it is 6, 16 p.m. It's Saturday night. Um, I just wanna show you the state of the kitchen right now. Uh, you should have seen it. I'll insert from my Instagram story what it looked like now. That has been the kitchen for the past like three days. So it's been a bit of an uh, inconvenience, but I just went and did a bit of a supermarket shop. So I'll go, I'll show you what I got. Elise is coming over to just hang. My parents are going out for dinner. My brother's not, it's just me. So that's why I'm, I'm, it's so much easier to vlog when there's no one home. That's why vlogging in my house is gonna be the best thing ever. Uh, sorry if you can hear the air conditioning and the oven, but it is what it is. So this lighting is also not my favorite, but to start off, I'm a milk. That lighting is so bad, but I think that's really sh yeah that's even worse then i got some rice malt syrup for those little ball things so I'll put that aside i also the recipe called for almond butter i got peanut butter because i feel like potato potato maybe not but i i just thought i wanted to get peanut butter because the almond butter was like nine dollars and i was like i'm not living that life so i got some mushrooms some cucumbers Cherry tomatoes. I'm about to make pizza, by the way. I got some, and plus, I didn't want to get stock up on too many things just because I am going away soon ish. So I didn't want to get like heaps and heaps of stuff. I got some turkey. I haven't got turkey for ages. And I got some ham, just some these because they're like smaller sizes. I also got some jelly likes. I haven't had any in ages. I got some bananas because pancakes. I got some red onions. So I probably shouldn't have got the, I shouldn't have got this. I didn't need this, but I wanted a butternut pumpkin. So I might like meal prep that tomorrow. I also got some purple cabbage, cause purple or red cabbage. That is purple, sorry. I gave it so much honestly and you closed the door. Now you're calling me, but I don't need you anymore. Yeah. Chasing the ghost who don't try